Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see here, I have a um, a review of the the Derwent Graphic. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, like their their paint liner pens. Now, first of all, I'm actually on holiday at the minute, so I've done these videos so that um, I haven't just like got up and gone away or anything like that. That there's still content coming out while I'm away. Um, but there's kind of like a funny story behind these these pens, um, and I'll I'll go through that very quickly before I get into the actual review of the pens. So th around about this time last year, we went across to Keswick, which is where we always go for our um, holiday. I don't always go with the family because of my back. Uh, it's only like about an hour and a half drive away from from where we live. Uh, but it's where the kids love going to. It's in the Lake District and it's obviously the, the home of Derwent. Uh, so anytime we go across there, we're in the Pencil Museum as often as I can get down there. Um, and uh, th this day we went and um, Derwent had this fantastic uh, day lawn. The, well, lots of different items, but these in particular. But uh, the manageress knows me and she gave me a box of them. And she said, here, why don't you take them, have a play about with them and then do maybe you could do a review of them. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I took them back to uh, the place we were staying that night. Um, and my wife and my daughters that were there had a play about with them as well. Now, my wife has n no artistic qualities whatsoever. She's not interested in art, nothing like that. They had a play about with them. We, we, first thing in the morning, my wife said to me, we've got to go down there and we've got to start buying boxes of these things. So, including the box that we were given to review, uh, we bought this box and this box is my wife's. Um, you can see there are all the pens in there. Um, but my daughter's got a box each. And so what I'm going to demonstrate here is, is if you're ever in the Lake District and you go um, to Keswick, which is a little town in the Lake District, uh, aside from the fact that the, the Durban Pencil Museum has got so much really cool, interesting stuff, they have a shop there as well. And they always have deals on. When you're coming through the shop, you can buy all the other stuff, normal price, but they always have like a few items that have got fantastic deals. And this will just give you an example of some of the deals that they have on. So you can see here, this set of 20 graphic pens is normally $64.95, but they were selling them on this day for £25. And I mean, like that, that is a, a, a huge discount. And so, like I say, uh, well, my wife got us all up the next morning. She was so excited about going down and getting them. And I've never seen her like that with an art product uh before bearing in mind all the art supplies that i review and all the rest of it she's never been interested in in any of them but as soon as she's seen these and tried them out uh she absolutely adored them still does but she uses them for uh like her coloring books she got a coloring book from derwent as well uh, just let me have i'll get it and i'll show you so uh she picked up this little uh coloring book uh and this is what she uses um, for with, with the, the line painters. I'm not too sure if I should show you any of this because she'll go nuts. Um, but this is like one of the drawings that she's painted on with these line markers. And I know they're much more versatile than just colouring books. But this is what makes my wife happy. So she tried that and um, I think she's done a few other things in here as well. There you go. So you can see the uh, the type of work that she's been able to do with them. Um, and she she just absolutely adores using them. Um, but I'm going to show you here in this review the 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 many other things that these pens can be used for uh, and all the rest of it. So as you can see here, um, this is a box of twenty colors. Um, uh, it's kind of like a a, a wedge shape. And um, when you pull this sleeve off, just let me take that off. There's a little bit of general information on the inside there about the markers. I haven't actually taken this apart yet, uh, but it tells you a little bit about them. Uh, and then you have the, the actual pens themselves. And this acts as like a, 
a storage system where when you're using your pens, uh, you just set it up on your desk and then you can take them in and out as and when needed. So I still have some here unopened, so I'm going to show you this um, first. I'll show you this pen so you can get a look at it brand new. Now, one of the cool things about these pens is the, the names that uh, Dermont have given to the, the individual colours. Um, so each individual pen is wrapped in like this polythene so you can see there I'll just take this off and so there's actually when you take the the nib the the lid off you have this 0 0.5 I believe it is yeah 0 0.5 Japanese nib this is what they determine call it uh, it's got a metal sheath here and then you have this this tiny little nib here on the end which is where all the the ink flows through from uh, but I'll go into that more in a second uh, along the barrel here you have obviously the company name which is uh, Derwent uh, the name of the pens which is graphic which is G R A P H I K uh, then it says that it's a, a lime painter. So this is like a water-soluble um, paint that is inside these pens. Uh, very opaque, but we'll get through. We'll get to that in a second. Um, the 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 individual pigments have numbers as well. Uh, and then if you turn it over, you have the Dermot uh, website address, which will take you directly to these pens, to the page that these pens are on, where you can, uh, you know, order more pens or whatever. Uh, and then they have the names here. So this one here is Heron, uh, as you can see. Let me just get a couple more out because some of these names are fantastic. Um, so I think it's this one. Uh, this one is uh, Blood. Um, I'll, I'll get another couple out and then but the rest of the names will all be listed over on the written review in the art gear guide uh, this one here is envy obviously it's green so cool names. I mean it gets the names are fantastic uh, this one here is high obviously you know blue high in the sky uh, I'm, I'm guessing but the names are really I, I don't know quirky good and it just goes in line with everything I think these pens stand for which is just pure and utter um fun enjoyment and indulgence so um so that's the, the the barrels of the pens uh the lid you can take the lids off and connect them to the the end of the pen here as well just as you can see uh so that you don't lose your lids but it's the um it's the actual paint that's inside these is so fantastic and the way that these pens can be used so i'm going to show you the the inks or the i keep calling them ink sorry the paint on various different colors of paper and card and stuff like that so you can get to see them um but before i do that i just want to show you a, another line that derwent have that i think sometimes some people get a little bit confused with think they're the same thing so Derwent have this this other line, but these are um, line markers. Okay, so they don't have paint in them, but they 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 have ink. Um, and you can see here where it says uh, "light fast pigment ink." Uh, it's the the they come in sets of um, three. So you've got like this sepia set here, which is. Uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 nibs. Uh, just let me take that off. You can take a little look at the nibs there. Um, they have this um, grey set as well and then there's a black set also. Uh, they look very, very similar but they're not obviously. This is uh, ink instead of um, paint. But I will show you how these lay down uh, later on in the video. Also, as well as the boxes, so you don't have to go out and get a full set of 20 in the box here. You can also pick up, they do these little packs now. Um, they come in these packs of five, uh, different colours and what have you. Again, I will have all the prices for, for the box as it is 
like recommended retail price and the, the prices that you can pick them up at. Uh, as well as these wallets and these wallets themselves are really really handy a lot of people keep these they don't throw them out they're not leather i think they're pvc or something like that but they're really handy to uh, have about uh, and use for your art supplies you can also buy purchase these pens um open stock individually um just let me close that over uh, as you can see here my wife has purchased lots of new pens and stuff like that um so let's get on and we'll have a look at we'll do some of the testing here as well okay so like i said i've got this new pen hasn't been opened so i'm going to show you how uh you kind of like start these pens off because you don't just take the lid off and start writing with them there's kind of like a pump action here so when um let me see if you can see this So it pumps in, you can see it pumping there. And then the color will start to come out. Let me just pump it, see if I can get it. Oh, there it's come out. Okay, so you can see there, um, the paint is starting to come through now there are so many different techniques that you can use with these pens so you can you can use them for just like line work and you can see there let me just zoom in a little bit for you so you can see here um you can you can use it for the, this like thin line work and you can see there how just how opaque and gorgeous the pigments are they're really really bright vibrant or what you can do is um you can keep pumping until you get kind of like a puddle of paint. Um, this is a new pen, so it's just going to take a little while for the the pigment to come through. You kind of like hold it down. Let me uh, give it a bit of a shake. Because if you listen, there is a like a little marble or something like that inside the pen to stop the paint from drying and uh, congealing up on you um, you just got to watch because when you do that when you shake it sometimes when you open your lid um, a little splatter of paint can come out but nothing too drastic when I was telling you that um, so you can see you can see there that it's it's starting to flow out a lot better now because of shaking it and um, it's obviously just taking a little bit of time for that ink to come out. But like I was saying, um, my eldest daughter, she done this uh, A-level art piece and she had used these pens and her she hasn't got the grade yet back for it, but uh, she had used them in one piece and her art teacher was like hadn't really heard of the pens or anything like that and she was over the moon with the, the results that my daughter got with it. Uh, so we're really interested to see anyway once you've got it down you can um you can create all sorts of effects with it because it's like a water soluble you can add like uh get a brush put a little bit of water on it which will obviously dilute it a little bit um so you can spread all of this out with with a brush uh, a watercolor brush just as you would do ordinary watercolor paints um another thing that you can do is once you've got a, a significant amount of paint you just keep pumping on your pen there you can use like a straw and blow it i can't get to it at the minute because i've got this microphone in front of me and i've got my camera and i can't get close enough to the canvas or the the paper to to do that for you let me see if i can actually And you can see there that it gives you this like splattered effect but also what you can do is you pump the pen a little bit and then just use your finger and splatter it like this and then you get these extra splattered effects so it w with these these pens you can get you can create so many different really awesome effects um, i'm just going to put this um what color is this one? Uh, Heron away. I'm going to get a um, 
one of the white pens because I know that this is a big question. Everybody's looking for a really, really nice, bright white pigment pen. As you can see here on this piece of paper, um, because I've seen lots of people do reviews of these pens, but I've never actually seen anybody try to, uh, and that's not to say that they haven't, I just haven't seen, um, to use the, the lighter shades on uh, like black marker and black color pencil so as you can see here I've got a Winsor & Newton uh, brush marker I've just done some black here and I've also got a Prismacolor Premier black pencil and I've done quite a heavy uh, application there uh, I'm sure you can see it there on the camera and because it's a wax a really waxy type pencil I just wanted to see how these uh, line painters will um, cope working on those types of surfaces because obviously on paper uh like watercolor paper they're going to work really well but um i just want to see what it's going to look like here so we'll try the, the the black marker first okay so i, I think i need to shake it up a little bit there because uh, you can see with the with the line There was like a little bit of opacity there in the lines, but that was just because I hadn't been shaking up. And as, as I was about to shake it, and I forgot to put the, the lid on it, um, the drop that came out there was quite opaque. But let me let me just give it a proper shake, because these pens have been... I haven't used them in, in about a week or so, because I wanted, I wanted to keep them for the review. Whenever I'm doing reviews, I try to make sure that the, the products I'm reviewing are like almost brand new, and that I've only used them on a drawing. Um, Okay, so let's give this another go. Oh, I've got loads of red all over me. So that's it on the um, on the black marker. Let's take a look and see what it's like on the uh, Prismacolor Premier. And I chose that particular pencil because it's quite waxy. Actually, that, that goes on really quite nice. Um, now, in terms of archival qualities and stuff like that, I have all that information over on the Art Gear Guide. You'll be able to go across there and see it. You can go across and uh, you can have a look at the what Derwent have said about these in terms of light fastness. So let's get some other brighter colours out here and we'll give them a go in the black as well. But I'm actually really quite happy with the way that uh, white has laid down, on the, especially on the, the Prismacolor Premier. Um, and I've got a really nice yellow here. This one here is called Brick Road. Obviously, Yellow Brick Road. And then, see, I've got a big blob out there. And that's, you know, in fairness, that's okay because... Um, that's what's so versatile about these pens. I've heard people say oh, that when they've been doing like a, a bit of line work, you can see there that it's it's just blobbing out there on me. Um, but they're kind of they were kind of designed with with that feature in mind, in that you could create all these splattered effects and all the rest of it. Um, so let me see what it looks like on the um, on the black marker. Oh, that's coming out too fast that I think um, I'll try a different pen here let me try this uh, blue but you can see the difference between uh, the yellow one there that I used and the red one the red one was brand new and so it took a little bit more time to come out it didn't come out as free as what the yellow one did but the yellow one was like that because it's been used loads this one is Tom obviously ginger Tom as in the cat So you can see there how it works on on those surfaces. Now, bear in mind, this is a marker. 
the paper that I'm actually using here is Durban Soam watercolour paper. Uh, but I've got black marker down there and this one here is the wax based uh, Prismacolor Premier. I do have different colour papers, I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so I have some black paper here. Uh, just let me zoom out a little bit. And you'll get to see the 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 vibrancy really of these pens on against the a, a, a dark paper background. So I'm doing these blobs on purpose. I'm not going to put these pens back because I don't have time. So this one here is tickled. Obviously tickled pink. So I'm spreading these out. I'm like getting, doing this on purpose, getting these. Um, let me get some of that yellow in there. Some of this this one here is minted it's kind of like obviously a minty green There you go. So you can see all the different things that you can do. But this, this is this is kind of like along the lines of the what my, my daughter used these for. Um, but you can see there on the black paper, I know the light is quite bright. Let me see if I can move this light. I will have some still images up over on um, the Art Gear Guide where you can get to see these better. But you can see there that on black paper, and we'll get the white as well, because obviously the white is um, important for a lot of people. You can see there that the white... ...works really nice. It kind of seeps in a little bit to the paper, and um, it's not quite as opaque. Uh, I have here some Strathmore Tone Tan. Um, I'll get some more colors here and we'll use it on the tone tan so you can see. So this one here is uh, the blue high. Okay, so that's that's the pigments on this uh, Strathmore tone tan paper. And you can see there that it's really, really vibrant. Comes up on that perfect as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's going to do exactly the same here for the Strathmore uh, gray paper, tone gray. Um, I haven't actually done any proper art with these pens or anything like that because, um, to be quite honest with you, I don't think I'm creative enough to be able to produce something that will actually um, demonstrate these pens in, in their true light and ability. Um, <clears throat> I'm more of an illustrator. I, I like to copy drawings and stuff like that. I'm quite good at that, but in terms of coming up with something out of my own head, I'm not that great with. I should have taken a, taken a picture uh, of my daughter's A-level art piece because it was absolutely phenomenal. Maybe if once her results come in, I'll be able to go through it with you and show you. Okay, so you can see there the the um I'll have all the the names and stuff like that for these. You'll have it. I'll put this up over in the art gear guide, and you'll be able to see it over there as well. Uh, but this is all the colours. I've just done a very quick swatch with them. Uh, but you can see how bright and vibrant and uh, opaque these uh, colours are. Like I say, you cannot you can add water to them and it dilutes them down. Um, but I think you know if, if you are um, like a, a crafter, a, an incredibly creative person, you will be able to create the most beautiful works of art with these because they just give you so much freedom uh, to express yourself. Uh, I think if you've got like a, a really nice big table, you've got a canvas or something like that, and you can just go mental with them and just you know spray them all over the place you can get like um 
you know the compressed air cans you can use those on them as well and with the compressed air spread on the nib and uh, the the actual paint will spray out on it that uh, that's another way that i've seen these being used as well but i love them i think that they're so bright and vibrant like i say they're so versatile as well in terms of the way you can use them uh, and i i'm i'm i think they're a fantastic um art supply to have around and as i've just shown you there as well when you put this uh paint down on top of a uh, color pencil or marker and stuff like that it does show up really quite well um so that it's that's just another method that you can use these on anyway guys thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video i really appreciate it um the last video there that I've done, which was about uh, art and mental health, um, I received so many wonderful emails and stuff like that from you guys. It was, um, I was truly blown away by some of the stories. Uh, and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for doing that. Um, anyway, I look forward to seeing you again next time. I hope you are all keeping well. Don't forget, you can follow me on um, Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. All the links for that will be down below. Um, you can also go across to the Art Gear Guide. There'll be links for all my social media platforms over there as well. Uh, and so if you've liked this video, actually, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I've never, I, I keep getting people saying, you know, Harry, you should say at the end of your videos, re, you know, like and subscribe and stuff like that. Because uh, I never really do. And I always leave it because I think to myself, well, if, if somebody's going to subscribe to the channel, they're going to do so. They don't need me telling them to do it. Um, but I can understand why people are telling me to do this because they, you know, they're just looking out for me and hope, hopefully um, that I'm, I'm growing the channel and stuff like that. But you guys know what to do. If you want to follow me or subscribe to the channel or like any of the videos, I can tell you now, it's all well appreciated. But it's entirely up to you guys what you just want to do. I just want to say thank you for all the support you've given me. And I just... I'm so pleased to hear that these videos do actually help people out. Uh, I get a lot of emails from people saying, you know, um, how before they go and buy something, they come to the Art Gear Guide. And that just, I can't tell you how much that just fills me with joy to know that the, these videos are helping people out. Anyway, thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.